Welcome, everybody. <clears throat> well, good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate all of you being here today. I'd like to recognize the Catholic uh, Conference of Oklahoma and Oklahoma faith leaders um, that are uh, here today. Father Price Oswald is here representing Archbishop uh, Coakley. I'd also rec like to recognize uh, Tony uh, Lowinger, who's here representing Oklahomans for Life. You're a huge supporter. Where's Tony at? Thanks, Tony. Thank you so much for all you do. Uh, Oklahomans for Life uh, works with the Baptist General Convention, uh, the Catholic Archdiocese of Oklahoma City, and other churches and pregnancy resource centers uh, to sponsor the Pro-Life uh, Rose Day at the Capitol. Uh, so I just want to give them a shout out, and that's why we're all wearing roses today. Uh, thank you to Caitlin Connors, who is representing Susan B. Anthony List. Uh, thank you to Students of Action, Oklahoma Students for Life, and everyone who supports protecting the unborn. I promised Oklahomans that I would sign every pro-life bill that hit my desk, and that's what we're doing here today. Senate Bill 612 passed with a vote of 38 to 9 in the Senate and 70 to 14 in the House. That's over 80% support in both chambers. The bill's authors, Senator Dom and Representative Olson, are here today. Thank you so much for your leadership. Thank you, Senator. You'll hear from them directly here in a few minutes. Uh, and as governor, I represent all 4 million Oklahomans. And they overwhelmingly support protecting life in the state of Oklahoma. We want Oklahoma to be the most pro-life state in the country. Uh, we want to outlaw abortion in the state of Oklahoma. Attorney General John O'Connor and I know this bill will be challenged immediately by liberal activists uh, from the coast who always seem to want to come in and dictate and mandate and challenge our way of life here in the state of Oklahoma. But the most important thing is to take a stand and protect the unborn and protect life in the state of Oklahoma. We believe every life is precious. As a father of six, uh, those are my core beliefs. And I'm elected by all four million Oklahomans uh, to represent them and to put our beliefs uh, into law. Now I'd like to turn it over to Attorney General John O'Connor uh, to give an update. So Attorney General O'Connor. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. It's interesting, in the last week, I have met three individuals who's, who told me that their mothers were counseled to abort. And uh, if their mothers had followed through with that advice, those three individuals would not be here, and they're, they're incredible folks. But as your Attorney General, public safety, the public safety of all Oklahomans is our top priority. And, um, and my clients include the 3.9 million plus Oklahomans, including our unborn children. Over 5,000 humans, Oklahomans, give their lives each year uh, unwillingly to abortion with the consent of our government, and we're hoping for the day that that ends. Factually, life begins at conception. <clears throat> Excuse me, we know that in the Roe versus Wade decision, uh, there was no question that the life of the child in the womb was human. No question the child was alive. The question was, could we parse words and say, well, the Constitution just protects persons because it doesn't say humans. So we are cautiously optimistic that the United States Supreme Court is going to pare that back. We know that 60 plus million Americans have been denied the right to life because of the Roe versus Wade and the Casey decisions. And it's about time that we end that tragedy in our nation's history. Yes. <laughs> I have joined 25 other attorneys general from across the nation asking the U.S. Supreme Court to overturn Roe versus Wade. And um, I look forward to defending these, uh, this law, Senate Bill 612, and, um, and watching it come into law. And one of the greatest honors that I've had so far is, being, is the lawsuit called Planned Parenthood versus O'Connor, because it stands for the fact that this is a collision of two worldviews, 
And our view is that life begins at conception. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Yep, Senator. Thank you, A.G. O'Connor, and thank you, Governor. Um, greatly appreciate your leadership in signing every bill that come, has come across your desk. You have been the most pro-life governor in our state history, so I greatly appreciate that. Thank you all the faith leaders that are here today. Uh, thank you, Students for Life, for actually bringing this bill to me with this concept and, and leading the charge and helping with that. And of course, Representative Olson for taking it on the House side and, and getting it through and for the support of all the other members that voted for it. Uh, this is a historic day in Oklahoma, and I'm so thankful to have been a part of it. But I thank you all because this is not just one individual that has done this. This is us coming together and standing for life. I always like to point out that the United States was founded on the concept that we are endowed by our Creator with certain rights, and the very first right that is listed is the right to life. We were created as a nation on the concept that God gives us life, but then after it talks about the rights that we're endowed by our Creator, it says that to secure these rights, governments are instituted. This is our primary focus. We should be about protecting life. And what we are saying here today is the intentional taking of an innocent life has consequences. It is criminal, and we are no longer going to allow the murder of innocent babies in the womb here in Oklahoma. So this is a historic day. I thank you, Governor, for, for standing with us and signing the bill. And it's just been an honor to be a part of it all. God bless you. Thank you. And now, Representative Olson. It's a wonderful day. This is a historic day. This is the day that the state of Oklahoma says, we value all life, born and unborn. And we could think, uh, you know, there are some folks that wonder, should government get involved in this? And I think about the role of government. What is the role of government? What are the core functions? What are the things that it should and shouldn't do? And we could have many debates whether it should be certain few things or maybe more. But I think everybody ought to agree that the most important function of government is to defend innocent life. And that's what we're doing here today. Four to 5,000 Oklahomans lose their life every day to the vicious, murderous practice of abortion. And I agree with you all that are here today, that needs to stop. I have been honored to be part of this effort. I appreciate the governor and his leadership on this issue, leadership in the House, leadership in the Senate, uh, the senators and representatives that have stood for this. Also, so many others that are not, uh, not at the front of the scene, but just as critical, students for life, Oklahoma faith leaders, Oklahomans for life, and the multitudes that have prayed and prayed over this issue for years for the lives of the unborn babies. And I'm just thrilled to be a part of it. More than all of those, I want to thank the Lord for him helping us with this and, uh, and his heart being shown in this that we value life because our God in heaven values life. Thank you so much. Hey, good morning. Thank you so much. My name is Caitlin Connors. I'm with the Susan B. Anthony List, and we are an organization of over 900,000 pro-life <laughs> Americans nationwide, many of whom live here in the great state of Oklahoma. And I'm here today in celebration of the signing of Senate Bill 612, legislation that will uh, save and protect unborn children and their mothers throughout pregnancy. Um, this bill has received overwhelming support from the Oklahoma legislature, and I'd like to thank Senator Nathan Dom and Representative Jim Olson for their leadership on this bill, which per Oklahoma's own health department stats in 2020 will save nearly 4,000 lives a year. Um, I'd also like to thank Governor Kevin Stitt for fulfilling your promise to sign every piece of pro-life legislation that comes to your desk. The people of Oklahoma have elected these courageous leaders to come here and to protect life, and y'all are doing just that. Um, as a woman and a mother myself, I can speak personally to what it's like to bring life into this world, and I can speak personally to what it, how important it is to have laws on the books that protect unborn children and their mothers. So I'm here, I'm honored to be here, and I'm so thankful for the opportunity. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thanks so much. Um, let me go ahead and uh, sign this bill, and then we can open it up to a few questions.
Okay, uh, open up uh, any questions for the folks behind me or myself. Yes, sir. Well, first off, uh, uh, you know, we're going to sign every piece of pro-life legislation that hits our desk. Uh, we want it clear that we want to choose life in Oklahoma. We don't want to allow abortions in the state of Oklahoma. Right now, there's a Supreme Court case, uh, which O'Connor can uh, discuss, that's uh, there's a Mississippi law that's now before the Supreme Court. Uh, this, these issues belong to the states, and other states may do things differently, uh, but in Oklahoma, uh, I, I represent all four million Oklahomans. They overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly do not support abortions in the state of Oklahoma. So uh, we know it's, uh, it's going to be challenged from some folks, uh, but, but we're so excited about the Supreme Court uh, addressing this issue and giving it back to the states where it, where it belongs. O'Connor, would you like to? Okay, okay. No, so this bill deals with the criminal aspect of it on the felony side. The other one deals with the civil aspect. So they will not cancel each other out. We are going to make every attempt to protect life. And so that's why we are working on both different versions. Uh, I believe that this is one of the strongest versions because it has that criminal aspect of it. Uh, but the civil aspect has not been overturned by the courts. Uh, so that actually has already essentially passed uh, court muster. And so that's why we're working on that one as well. But they will not cancel each other out. Yeah, well, uh, this bill protects if there is a uh, life situation, um, and so that's something that the doctors are going to uh, make a decision on uh, to protect the life of a mother, and I think it gives that exception to this bill. In, in, that's correct. That's correct. Yes, ma'am. You know, the, the folks behind us, the churches that are represented across the state, there's tons of uh, teen crisis pregnancy programs. Uh, our health department has programs. The churches want to step up. Uh, the adoption process is, uh, uh, there's people in, in the state of Oklahoma that would love to adopt children that just can't have children of their own. I got texts this morning from a president, I had no idea, the president of a, of a large company that just said, thank you, Governor, for signing this, that I was adopted along with my two siblings and I was left at the fire station and I was in an orphanage as a baby. And I thank you for protecting life and I'm just so thankful that my mother uh, chose life and to give me up for adoption. So there's a, there's a, a lot of programs out there. I want to encourage the churches and those, uh, um, those different organizations that can minister to folks that are, uh, that, are, that are pregnant and we can give those folks up for adoption if there are some financial hardships. Well, I think it's going to, this is going to be influenced by the U.S. Supreme Court and how they deal with the Dobbs decision, clearly. But, uh, but what I love about this one is that there's not a punishment in it for the mother of any kind. It's for the practitioner who does it. And, and that's an expression of the will of the people of Oklahoma through their legislature and their governor. And so uh, the states should have the rights to make that decision, and that's what we're hoping the U.S. Supreme Court does, is return it to the states and the people. There's 
So the, yeah, the, the law that's already on the books has had a stay put on it since Roe v. Wade because that law is from the 60s and everything. Um, so if the trigger bill uh, were to go into an effect, it possibly could trigger those existing statutes to be implemented. Uh, but because there was some uncertainty on how the trigger bills would be implemented, we wanted to make sure to have another option uh, to uh, once the uh, Mississippi case makes its way through the Supreme Court, uh, they could say that, um, yes, it goes back to the states for any new legislation. Uh, so this would fall in that category. So that's why we wanted to have an alternative option. I think you have to focus on, on the big picture. We, we don't want, uh, we want to make all, there, there, there's crimes that happen and there's things that, that happen, but we want to make all abortions uh, uh, illegal in the state of Oklahoma. We understand there's a court case. Uh, there's hundreds of states that are putting, putting bills back before the Supreme Court. Uh, this needs to be a state issue. And um, this is just another step of Oklahoma people saying that we don't believe in abortion in the state of Oklahoma. So it's that simple to me. Um, we're not going to go through a lot of what ifs and what, what if that. And again, other states may do things differently. Colorado just signed the most egregious abortion bill I've ever seen. Uh, right before birth, uh, you can abort a, a baby. And um, it's, just, it's just unbelievable to us uh, as Oklahomans here how that, could get, how that could get across the finish line in Colorado. You may have highway patrol arrest the Texans that come across our border. No, no, no. <laughs> this, this will, this bill will take care of that. We, we certainly don't want Texans coming up to Oklahoma. They passed their bill last year that was basically uh, had more civil punishment. I know Senator Dom's working on on that, but uh, that's certainly not our intent: is to have Texans and other people from other states flood into our state um, to to have abortion. So hopefully, this uh, this bill will curb that. 